Okay, and I was just surprised to see Sachis has climbed up here. <laughs> I did bring them up once just to show them, and yeah, they lifted their legs within the first 10 seconds of being up here. So that's why I don't really want dogs to come up here. This is actually for cats and humans. <laughs> but the dogs, I guess, eventually they will. But he just ran up to right about here and he went down. So, just goes to show, he will be getting up here pretty soon. Okay, I'm just hosing the car down because I want to quickly go to the hardware. And just look at this little spider. He is so pale. I've never seen one like this before. Just look at that. Well, let me get going. I'm gonna just drop him off here. He will be happy in the garden. Jackie just took this little one out of the pool. So, not sure exactly if he's able to fly. We're gonna put him down and see. There's no cats around here, as far as I know. I haven't heard Frenia's cat in the world yet. But yeah, let's just put him down and he's a little wet. We'll just see what happens if he's really that small. He is. There is another little bird around here. Just heard him two or three times. Maybe they are. Yeah, he's really little. Let's just get him dry first. Then we'll see if he's not able to fly. We'll just. Well, like someone suggested to me, put him in the chinchilla cage. And I think that will be the right way to do it. So let's just keep an eye on him and we will let him go as soon as he's ready. Okay, so here is the little one that is hanging around here as well. I'm sure that's his little friend. So I'm just going to let him stick here with him. He's getting dry at the moment. We'll check him out in a few minutes. He's really little and he ended up in the pool. So I guess he did fly there. We'll just take it as it comes. Okay, it's monkeys and dogs all around. They are all just running, playing, getting into the pool. Duens is sitting here, just doing his stretches. All the dogs. It's funny how when the little bird fell into the pool, none of the dogs went for you. It's almost like they said, okay, you know what, time out. We'll give you a chance. Oh, these dogs can make a noise. Diego. <laughs> give him a good scratch there. Okay, they are not keeping quiet. So let me just open up here. Come Trappis. Trappis must come in. I'm going to leave Trappis here for a few minutes longer. This is going to make a noise. Oh, they can make a noise if they want to. Okay. I'm going to just give the Diego something to eat quickly. And then I'm on my way. I've got a couple of things to do. It's not like you haven't seen me the whole day. <laughs> okay, let's just give him something to eat and I'll be on my way. Trappies. Well, that is officially little Turbo Spot. He loves it there. Just look at him, just like a tiger hanging out. Right, and the kittens came up all by themselves. I just called them and they run straight up. It's only little Oreo, but he is just playing around there on the cat bed. He will come up within the next few seconds. They are getting so smart. Can you believe it? <laughs> Yeah, these cats are truly amazing. They walk around everywhere at the moment. They just love being around here. Just look at that. <laughs> yeah, I just put them upstairs and well, in this area. And they spend time with all the other cats except the ones at the bottom of course but just look at 
ends over right there in the pool. He's just taking a walk and taking a swim. And he likes it so much. Diego is around here as well and a big fly. Diego is walking around here. Probably went to the other side now. But Enzo is just relaxing. He wants to play, but he's a little lazy, I think. I guess he's just playing his way. Yeah, they are just doing whatever they want. <laughs> little Oreo <laughs> yeah they don't end everywhere you look there is some animal there's Diego back from the dogs the Diegos are just all around having some fun upstairs and cutest cat in the world is right here. Just look at them. All of them right here. They are just doing whatever they want. And Diego, well, he is also doing what he wants. And he wants to swim and play. So, he's just going to keep on doing it. I have to cut that branch. I just don't get around to it. But I'll see if I can reach from the balcony down here. Just extend the saw and I can just cut one or two of those branches off. Then I'm going to be able to get a much better shot of all of the tigers swimming. Well, that's about it. I'm going to be getting the food ready for them to feed them. And... Slowly the sun is going down. The end of the day is close. But tomorrow we'll have another one. And the tigers can play again. Cats can eat again. And the monkeys, well actually I should have said the monkeys can play again. Because that's what they do. Let's see if I can find Arnie. He doesn't always know that I am up here. And then when I call him, he shouts back. Arnie! See if I can reach him over there. Boy, I'm pointing the camera in the wrong direction. There's Billy. Arnie! Nah, he's not hearing me. Usually when I shout at him from here, he goes crazy. He just wants me to come and be there with him. Yeah, I think he's inside the room at the moment. I think that one there might be Billy. Let me see if I can call him. It's so nice to see them respond according to their name. Billy! Arnie! But yeah, you can't really concentrate when there's a tiger swimming on this side. That water is moving because he is playing with his drum <laughs> let me just get away from that branch over there there he is I have to say when I sleep during the night and I hear that playing and it's a big noise but you tend to get a smile on your face and you just sleep even better because you know that he is having so much fun it's a different kind of peace when something like that happens. You can just feel everything is right. Even though it's a noise that keeps you up, you will rather sleep through a noise keeping you up than a worry that is absolutely quiet. Yeah, let me go. I think I'm going to quickly go get the food 
and they'll be eating and I have to just actually I should have screamed because <laughs> little Houdini was just climbing up to my leg and those claws were digged right into my leg all right so the little bird we still got him here but he's not able to fly yet so we let him out he's just running around but he is getting better all of the time he's just looking through his little window right there but we want to release him as soon as possible we've put all kinds of things in there for him to eat and it seems like he is eating and he's doing okay now the reason I don't use a little cage is he's really small and if he puts his head through the cage the cats will get him doesn't matter where you put him so it's quite difficult to keep a bird like this while wow, you've got so many cats around so but he's doing great he's looking good he's really pretty but i'm sure we're gonna let him fly pretty soon he just needs that final ability and to be strong as is necessary so let's see what we can do i got some advice that lemons might work very well for mosquitoes so i'm gonna try one let's see how it works i think it's gonna be just fine dinosaur eggs so a lemon in afrikaans is called a sea lemon now basically if you translate it it's gonna be sour orange because Lemon is the word for orange and yeah so it's a bit confusing but see lemon that is sour orange <laughs> Afrikaans is a difficult language but it works it works very well it's a very nice language it's easy to speak it and it's easy to understand it but in any case, that's just something about lemons. Okay, but I'm not done yet about lemons because the other thing is the word seal means acid. So it's actually an acid orange. <laughs> it just keeps on going. But in any case, I'm just looking for dinosaur eggs. Nothing. Oh, there they are just had a quick breakfast I never have a breakfast well it's not breakfast time so I guess it's not breakfast but and then this little bird is right here right yeah well here in South Africa we've got restaurants everywhere in parking lots even so as we are eating, the little bit that falls over right here, well, the little bird is going to get it. And why not? I mean, it's something that is just lying there on the ground. And they just eat it all up. Nothing goes to waste. Let's see if there's any birds around here right now. They were here a few seconds ago, but they've left. I'm just looking for the different features on these two little ones. Now I can see that that one over there is a little darker than this one over here. This one is just, just appears a little softer. But if you look at their faces, they are so similar. But I can see that this little one is a little brighter, although now it seems like that little one is a bit brighter. So I think the easiest way to find the difference between these little kittens will be recognizing their personalities. I don't even think I should try and figure out which one is which one by just what they look like.
So, let's just see, maybe the noses. Let's look at the noses. If you look at that little nose there and this one here, yeah, it becomes difficult to recognize them. Doesn't matter what happens. The easiest way is to get to know them according to their personality. I'll be able to tell the Oreo apart from the others just by his personality. But it's easier because he's a little black and white tuxedo. But those two are different. Well, I guess that back foot and this back foot. That's going to be the easiest way to do it. So first I want to recognize them just somehow. And then I will... Well, decide on the name. Because one of them still needs to get a name. And at the moment, this one should be called Punisher because she's got her nail dig right into my back. Okay, she's off. <laughs> okay, Punisher. That's what we shall call her. Him. Because they're both male as far as I know. <laughs> it's so confusing. and It's just like the dogs. There's one of those dogs who still has not got a name. And I've had them for more than a year. It's not that easy. People don't realize. It's easy to just give them a name and it fades away. But to give them an actual name that suits them and is actually their name, it's not that easy. <laughs> well, look at this foot and that foot. I'm going to think about it. I can see there's a slight brownish color on this little one. And that one is more towards the gray. But it's only in certain lighting conditions that you see that. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. But I'll get some more video of them being right there by each other. And then we can decide which one is Odini and which one is Punisher. <laughs> Maybe Udini is Punisher. We don't know. We'll have to check it out. But yeah, he did punish me right here now. It is quite painful. But it's a different kind of pain. It's the type you take with a smile. There's two types of pain. The one you take with a smile and the one you don't. So, <laughs> in any case, they're going to be playing. I've just brought them up. I was a little late to bring them up today, but I'm going to leave them up here and in the middle section for the rest of the day. They love it up here and they just play. So let me get going and uh, I'll figure it out which one is which. <laughs> See you guys later. Yes, you can go with this cheeky all, eh? Carrying it with his tail. <laughs> yeah, who would have known a monkey can carry stuff with his tail? Just look at that.
Okay, the first thing you want to do when you're going to install an extra tap is close off the water supply for the house. So let me just quickly do that. Actually quite easy. There's just a lever here at the bottom and you just turn that. Well, just like that and it is closed there's the meter right now there's no water in the house little turbo is just hanging around here hanging out yeah little turbo doesn't know me outside <laughs> but in any case we want to put some water up there so i can water the plants and we just need to make a slight modification to the water pipes just a tea piece and put up an extra tap and I just want to put up an extra tap over here and on the other side as well. So we're going to be doing that. <laughs> okay, so one of these are hot, one is cold. We just felt which one is hot and which is cold. The top one is cold. We're going to cut through it and put in the TPs. Then you just put the TPs in and now we're just going to tighten it. When your tigers are looking at you, why are you walking in the rain? Can't you just go inside? Yes, Enzo, I'll be going inside <laughs> right now. Yeah, Diego, don't worry. Have you never seen someone walking in the rain before? <laughs> Just like that, it's starting to rain again. And that is why I'm considering letting the pool water go again. It's going to cost exactly the same to get it blue or to replace it. There's no way around it. Yeah, those chemicals are a bit expensive. And I'm trying to find that happy medium and balance, but with this weather in a tropical atmosphere, well, you're not just gonna keep that water blue. It's not that easy. But Diego, he couldn't care less. All he wants is to be left alone right there and only be called once it is eating time. So he's just having the time of his life. There goes Diego and ends up. Thunder strikes right there. Here comes the next one. And the two boys, they are having fun in the pool. Yeah, let's face it, they're not scared. <laughs> Enzo, Diego, they are just enjoying everything. Now they do get all the different types of weather here in South Africa. <laughs> okay, Enzo, I'm not going to stand there in the rain. <laughs> They get the heat, they get the cold, they get the sun, they get shade, and they even get snow sometimes. Around about September, then we might get snow. I'm not really sure exactly what needs to happen for it to snow, but I know around about two degrees is necessary. But I don't know where in the sky it should be two degrees, then we might get some snow but yeah they get different kinds of weather all year round there's another lightning strike and Diego couldn't care less <laughs> Enzo Diego is just going to be taking that drum for a ride. But he better watch it. There's another one.
Now, I think one of the reasons why there's so much lighting in our area is because we're actually living on a gold reef. This whole place is packed with gold right under the ground. It is probably one of the most dense gold fields in the world and Enzo lost that one. Diego's got one point. <laughs> We've got a lot of gold mines around this area and I think lightning might be very fond of gold fields. I'm not sure, just things that I've noticed. But sometimes I notice things that is quite important. So well, these two are gonna run around playing. I better run and do damage control because it's a lot of water. Sometimes you just turn around and something gets wet that shouldn't have been. So uh, let me go and I'll see if I can do some damage control. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And like always, have a great day. A lot of rain falling. And the boys are just... Well, I can almost say sleeping in the pool. Everything is getting its fair share of water. Now, the problem is when it rains like this and the temperature is reasonable and there's sunlight, well, <laughs> the main problem is everything grows like you won't believe. The grass out here in the field is gonna be a meter high probably tomorrow. And then it needs to be controlled. Because if you don't control it, it is probably going to catch fire just as soon as it's a little dry. And that can be a big problem. I always have to watch out for that right here with the field next to me. So I am set up to control it, but you have to be at home to be able to do that. And it is not always possible to be home. Yeah, as I was feeding Enzo, he just went, grabbed his chicken and sat under the jungle germinate over there. Now look at this rainbow, and there's a double one. I wonder if it could make a triple. We'll just see. Absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. And those birds are just flying through the rainbow. And you know what they say. If you go underneath the rainbow, boys change to girls, and girls change to boys. So uh, I wonder what those birds are going to do about that. <laughs> but in any case, Tigers are enjoying their dinner. They love it. And it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful day. I think this is one of the most beautiful days I've seen in my life. And that it's just getting brighter and brighter. And funny enough, it's a big hole right there with that rainbow ends <laughs> and that's a place where they've dug for gold a lot because this whole place is a gold reef so maybe at the end of the rainbow there is a lot of gold a pot of gold even well I'll go show you guys that hole someday but I did put it up in a video some time ago I think it's the video starts with showing showing the hole but yeah it's a big hole <laughs> it's mostly because of gold well that's it thanks for watching guys just look at that a lightning strike in front of 
of the rainbow. <laughs> the double rainbow that is. So why don't I hear it yet? Oh, there it is now. Those birds are just flying through the rainbow. I guess the rainbow is a bit further away from you. But in any case, it is absolutely gorgeous. Just going to be taking a few shots as well. Can't really get the tigers and the rainbow in, but I'll try. Yeah, my screen is just, let me just turn it upside down like this. it <laughs> well thanks for watching hope you enjoy that and like always have a great day okay the little swallow is still here he's doing well but the cats may want to eat him there's no other way of putting it so I can't put him in a bigger cage because they will get to him and he is so tiny he can just put his little head through something and they'll be able to reach him. But he's beautiful, he's quite cute and I just want to hold him for another day or two just making sure that he can fly and then I'll see how I can introduce him back into the wild because he's just still a bit small I think and uh, yeah for the cat, you're not gonna even think about it. Luckily they can't reach him through here. And friendliest cat in the world, yeah. She is friendliest cat in the world to things that is bigger than her. But he's gonna be just fine.